So today I'm going to clearly explain the concept of traveling salesman problem uh, very briefly and very clear because what I notice is that for uh, many of the tutorials out there it's actually becoming so complicated but this is a very simple problem you can understand so basically this is how it goes so you have a salesman he has to deliver items to different locations he's going to start from somewhere maybe a depot a starting point and he's going to deliver items to different places so think for instance the salesman is here okay so this is salesman maybe i can just draw a little bigger uh so the salesman is at point a okay and he's meant to deliver items to point b and also to point C and to point D. All right. So, so now he can go from A to B, B to C, C to D, and back to A. He can also go from A to B, A to B, B to D, D to C, and back to A. So the objective, the, the, the objective of, the, of the traveling salesman problem is to find out which is the shortest route. And normally, a traveling, this uh, traveling salesman problem is represented as a graph like this, uh, having for each of the nodes, um, having nodes and it also has edges, and these edges have weights associated with them. For instance, we can have three, we can have Four, we can have one, or we can have five here, we can have two, or we can have seven. And let's say this one we can have, again, we can have, uh, or let's say one here. So the question now is how do we um, solve this problem? To solve this problem, we are going to represent it in something called the distance uh, matrix. So how does the distance matrix work? It's, it's more or less like a, a, a matrix or square uh, with different cells where the number of rows and the number of co columns is the same. And the number of rows in this matrix represents the number of uh, items or the number of locations. So I'm going to represent this problem you see here in the distance matrix and we solve it uh, using the algorithm and then you understand exactly how it works. So I'm going to represent this matrix. We have A, we have B, we have C, and we have D. And this is the locations. And we do the same thing. We have A, we have B, we have C, and we have D. Okay? So this don't know if I'm drawing perfectly well, but this is exactly how it goes. And then I'm going to put this right here and here and then like this. So once you have any traveling salesman problem, you have, you have to represent it in this way and then the solution is going to come out. The solution goes this way. The salesman starts from a point. Let's say the salesman starts from, let me use another pen. The salesman starts from A and he's going to deliver items to B, C and D and then come back to A, all right? So what is the shortest path considering the distances or the cost of each of these paths, okay? So how do we now represent this onto this, once you represent this in a distance matrix like this, the solution, I'm going to just show you how the solution comes out. Distance from A to A is zero because it play location A to A is zero. A to B is three. A to B is three. A to C, sorry, this is like, it's going to be one. A to C is 1, A to C is 1, and A to D is 7, as you can see. So at this point, I'm sure you'll be able to uh, complete this table, but for completeness of this tutorial, 
let me just go ahead to complete this table. So let's go B to A is the same as A to B. B to A is the same as A to B, so you have three. B to, well, that may not always be the case every time. B to C is one. B to, B to A is three. B to B is zero, I'm sorry. B to B is zero. Now we have B to C is one. B to C, B to C is one. And B to D is five. All right, so let's now go from C. I'm, I'm sure you are following. From C to A, from C to A is one. From C to, to B, from C to A is one, C to B is one. And from C to, to, to D is, uh, from C to C is zero as you know. From C to D is two. Okay, so let's now move from D, from D to A7, from D to B, D to B is 5, from D to C is 2. So we've represented this, we represented this problem as a distance matrix. Let's now solve this problem. So how to solve it is simply the algorithm says start from the begin from the starting point and consider the remaining parts and choose the smallest part. Okay? So what we are saying is once you start from A, you are going to consider A to B, A to C, A to D and choose the shortest part. So the first part is to start from A this is our starting point, and we are going from A. Now we are going to choose A to B, A to C, A to D. Choose the shortest part of the three. So from A to B is three, A to C is um, uh, one, and A to D is seven. So it's clear what we are going to do. We're going to say A to C. Then you now continue with the unexplored part, and choose part from C to the remaining unexplored part and choose the shortest one, but that does not lead you back to A. So I'm going to go from C. I'm not going to consider C to A, right? So I'm going to consider C to B, C to C, C to D. I'm, I'm not going to consider C to C because we can't go from one part from the place itself. So we have C to B. All right, so we now, at this point, we have, we have, we have considered C to B. Uh, we have gone from C to B. So we are now going from B to the remaining parts that we've not explored, and we're going to choose the smallest. So we are going from B now. The only remaining part is from B to D. So that is... Normally, if it's a bigger problem, then you have to explore a little bit more. From B to A, I've already done it. B to B, we can't, we can't do it. B to C, we can't go back. B to D, and that is uh, B to D is uh, B to D. And then we come back all the way back to A. So this is the shortest part. And this is how to find the shortest path in a traveling salesman problem. Once this, this is how the algorithm works. So you're gonna continue choosing the shortest path to the unexplored path. Once you get to a path, you are gonna consider the remaining unexplored path that doesn't lead you back to a path you've already explored. So let's now look in the nice part of this tutorial. We are gonna use Python to try to solve this problem. So I'm gonna stop here, I'm kind on the tech pro. I'm always there for you. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. And also let me know if you have any challenges following any of my lessons.